Hey Sagittarius, my name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading on you and the person on your mind. So the, see the current energy between you and what's going on. Possible outcome. Keep in mind that these are general readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information. Um, for some of you, I just heard condolences. Um, if you've lost somebody in the family, if you th that's not a sign that you're about to, that's if you've already lost someone recently. Okay. Hmm. What you don't see coming is the magician. That could be something that you manifested. A manifestation of yours coming to life is what I want to say. I want to leave that upright for whatever reason. The overall energy for the reading is the Knight of Wands. Passion. Pretty much passion. Um, your energy right now is the hangman. I feel like you might not even know this person yet. Um, I don't feel like you're making any movement towards anything at the moment. I said that you might not know this person yet because their energy is the fool. So brand new, brand new person coming towards you. I don't feel like you know who this person is yet because there's no intention on their part yet. They're in the Eight of Swords energy. Um. And in the Five of Cups energy when you meet them. So they're probably going through their own breakup or something along those lines. I feel like you're trying to figure out maybe a career or a family dynamic, something successful. I feel like you're trying to figure out your career um, when this happens in your life. I feel like after healing... There's going to be a really good connection for you, a really good career for you. There is something along the, those lines. Anyways, the energy between you and this person is the Four of Swords, which is healing, taking a bre break, not speaking. So again, I don't feel like you and this person are in communication just yet. What's blocking is the Four of Wands. Either of you could be in a, in a commitment or getting over a commitment. and possible outcome is working on something maybe together your action is a ten of pentacles and theirs is the five of cups let's see i don't know this could also be someone from your past but i see it as a new person let me clarify the fool feel like communication with this person will start off as a friendship level. One more. Mm. 
you're not going to know when this is coming. I feel like there is someone else in your energy at the moment that is probably blocking you from even bringing this person in. It can also be that there is someone in their energy doing that to them. When this person comes in, they could be dealing with someone who is kind of crossing their boundaries, or you could be dealing with someone crossing your boundaries to some extent, which is someone not respecting you or, you know, maybe an ex, something like that. But I feel it's like that's on their side. Okay, the Three of Cups. I feel like you're not in the place where you're looking for anything because you're working on your self-confidence. You're trying to build up something to that extent. This person looks to be someone from your friend group. Like I said, you could be communicating with this person versus friends. There is something here about friendship. I feel like they worry about love. I feel like they have intention on something good, but they're nervous about it for whatever reason, something in their past, most likely. I see you moving f away from a stressful situation, from a dramatic situation. I see you just leaving it behind completely. There's a cycle closing off there for you. Um, and you're like on your path is, is the way it looks. Pretty straightforward with that one. Your intention is to move on to calmer shores, to just be in a better space. Your action is, wow. I feel like you're headed straight to commitment. You're going to be headed straight to commitment. I'm surprised, I'm surprised the lovers didn't come out. I cannot talk tonight. Sorry. I'm surprised that the lovers card did not come out with all this uh, relationship and commitment energy. Um, I see you headed into a commitment that also involves a, a level of friendship or even working together. You and this person could work together at some point, but it is very fruitful. I see it being fruitful. Yeah, this person's not in your life yet. I feel like they're leaving a situation behind. Something that they thought at some point was going to bring them happiness. Some, someone they were possibly really attracted to. Um, there's something here about feeling left out in a past situation. That's their current state. For some of you, you already know who I'm talking about. The outcome is actually rather good. It's going to be communication with this person, even if they are in a sad place. I see effort being made. I see you and this person meeting and talking. I see effort being made. So there will be some communication here with you and this person pretty soon. I see this. This is, you know, something that you're manifesting. Remember I said that? This is something you're manifesting. Let me see some advice for Sagittarius.
there's something about a possible new connection or a new stable something coming in in the summer. Um, I'm seeing you being a little nervous to approach it. Um, don't be. Start opening up. I don't know if you hear all that noise. It's my neighbors. Sorry. Anyways, like I was saying, um, don't know if that's what that means necessarily is if you're not opening up, it's saying to open up or if this is just saying to approach this different. So take that how it resonates because I'm, I'm getting both. Maybe approach this a little more cautiously because you could have been throwing yourself into situations in the past that didn't really pan out for you. So take that advice how it resonates. I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did. Uh, and if you're new, please subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.